Hey guys, well today we're going to be talking about leaks and resealing the doors on a trailer such as this, like a utility trailer. Getting across this edge up here, leaking. Let me show you. I don't know if you can tell, you see that bright spot there. And there's another one right there where it's letting light through. So if it's letting light through, it's definitely going to let water through. And that's what we're going to try to solve today. Now, this is my side door. I don't know if you can see that, but you see that little dimple right there? This stuff that I've used on the side door seems to work pretty good. Let me show you what it is. I get this from like Home Depot or whatever. It's a sponge window seal, air sealing tape. Uh, I got the one for medium gaps, which is quarter inch height, inch width, and, uh, and 10 foot length. As you see, it's durable weather tight seal, superior shock absorption, PVC sponge, self adhesive. Uh, so far, I've had some pretty good luck with it. And now, if you see here, this is the original stuff. It almost has like a tape on top of a sponge. You see where, you know, it was compressing. I don't know if it ever truly sealed tight, but it's different from what I'm gonna put on there. These are things you will need. A uh, scraper, cutting knife, and of course, the new seal that you're putting on there. And you may need some cleaners or whatever, get any adhesive off that may be down. I'm just gonna do the top edge on this. I think that'll do me just fine. I will eventually do the whole thing. Now being that I'm not redoing the whole thing, I'm going to cut along this line here on both sides and then start scraping it up. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to show you. Let me see if I can put the camera down here. But, uh, basically, I'm going to lift the edge up and kind of go at it like that. Let me try on the other side where the light's a little better. Yeah, you can probably see it better here. I'm basically going to go and scrape off all of it. I may have to come back afterwards and get some other, you know, which you have a little bit of the, uh, what would you call it, schmig on there. I don't know if that's focusing or even showing it at all. Now, as you see, I have cut back that one piece and cleaned the whole strip. It's the one to the outside right here. And I am about to start putting the seal down. Now, as you can see, it comes in a roll like this. It has paper on the sticky side. Uh, let's get started. Now basically I'm going to start at the edge here. And I'll get my foot flat feet. Oh, this doesn't feel too sticky. Uh oh, I might have had this a little long. Let's see how she sticks. But Well, got it to stick, but uh, once you've got it on there, go ahead and trim off your excess here. And on this side, I'm gonna fix a little bit. Cut off the excess here, and well, right there, and you're done. And there we go. No more light shining in, which should hopefully make a really good seal now if now if anyone knows any better stuff than that let me know leave it in the comments um, just a video to help anybody out that uh, didn't have any idea well I figured I'd put that out there uh, 
anybody that uh, didn't have any ideas and if you have a better idea you know leave it in the comments whatnot it's all a learning process for everybody but I uh, hope you liked the video if you did hit that like button leave a comment if you care to and uh, till next time thanks for watching